Hey, today I'm going to go over the swatches palette in Adobe Photoshop. I have CS5. This can apply to some of the earlier versions, but it will look exactly like mine, only uh, pretty much only in CS5. Um, when you open Photoshop, go ahead and open an image. I just have an iStock photo here. And you notice you have the palette, tools palette over here, and then some palettes over here as well. There's one called Swatches Palette. Um, if you go ahead and click on that, if this isn't showing up, um, you might want to go to Window and then Swatches at the bottom. Same thing, but there's just a shortcut. If you click on it here, I can actually drag it off there and then click this arrow to put the other ones back there that were uh, grouped with it, color and styles. And the Swatches Palette is just basically a bunch of preset uh, hues and uh, different colors that you could use in a design. Now, a couple uh, tips on this. If you ever want to add a swatch to the swatches palette, you can just click this new, create new swatch of foreground color. And whatever's in your foreground color at the bottom of the toolbar. Now, if you don't see that, go to Window and then Tools. That'll bring that up. Whatever you have in the front. So if I click hit this, the foreground color here at the bottom of the tool palette and I just make it some kind of orange and then click OK and then click this new icon at the bottom of the swatch palette. You'll see there it creates the swatch. So then if I have ever have, you know, say, let's say brush tool and I have it on some kind of other swatch and then I can click and go back to that orange one and use the brush tool. Okay. Um, if you ever want to delete that, you can click and drag it to the trash bin, or you can right click over it and press delete swatch and then OK. Um, one tip though, if you want some presets uh, for various either on screen or printing uh, media, you can click this, it's the top right hand corner, not the X, um, but right below it. It's a little menu. And you can click that and you'll see all these presets. Okay, Pantone, uh, which is, you know, the premier uh, color coding system for a lot of different media. If I just click this and then click OK and save changes, no. And then you'll see I have Pantone colors here and I can click and drag the corner and you can see all these swatches here and quite a number. Okay. Now if you click that side again and go to say um, you know any of these web hues, web safe colors, web spectrum, if I click that, click OK. If I hit append, it just adds it to the end. Then you see some safe web colors. If I click one of these, double click it over here, or just click once actually, you can see the web code down at the bottom if you're using it in a web page design. And also the CMYK cyan, magenta, yellow, black levels, usually for print, and then RGB, um, you know, red, green, blue for screen, though some printers accept red, green, blue, they're kind of moving away where you have to just have to have CMYK, it just depends on the printer. But for the screen, um, you know, you can really look at either of these values, and instead of having to write these values down on a sheet of paper or put them in a Word document, or this web color, uh, code, you could actually just add it to your swatches, okay? Um, you can also click the side arrow and go to Preset Manager. And you'll see the preset type, and it's basically whatever you have up there as your presets, it kind of controls it from here. So if you click the side arrow, you can hit Reset Swatches, actually. And this is the original ones that we have, okay? And if you click the side one, if you want the presets every time you open Photoshop to be, say, Pantone, then you could choose that and it would automatically be in there. Or you could press load and you could load up if you have a color swatches uh, file, uh, ACO file. You could also load that up. You have a lot of presets, but you could even create, customize your own, um, you know, add to the, the default ones as well. If there's a lot of hues and a lot of colors that you find that you're using or you have them, say, in a project and uh, you're designing a website or customizing a blog 
and you're wanting to, you know, stay uh, true to a certain color scheme, then this is a pretty useful way to do that is by using the swatches palette. Okay. Um, again, if you press the back the, uh, background color, you could select one there, but you can also, of course, with the foreground color, it's currently selected there. You can, again, just quickly choose a swatch over here and you can customize them just so you have a color scheme that's pretty easily accessible for your print and uh, online design projects. Thank you.